Lutao Nadi. Oh, all my fans, my followers, my supporters, people me and them, they, you know, they communicate, they share comments together. I love Una. Thank you very much for standing by me. I, I want Choco now with kisses. Love, yes. Thank you. You will never join us. This is where to belong. Join us. And all platform where you know so we they talk better, better thing like this. Join us. Follow us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel now, NHTV Hangout. Facebook now, NHTV NG. Yes. Uh, yes, my people, I just want to watch this video. I don't go talk much. Uh, but what I want just talk, we say, I be going to call a papa and that guy with the phone and say, if you can see Dungeon, I know she, I know she, a APC uh, national chairman, Adamu, he be done resign yesterday with Secretary Mishore. Make a papa and that other guy, make them leave us, make them go, APC, where they send their name. Vacancy don't they made them go collect work so that they no go they stress and say made them no go you be say next and uh papa trust that they will use time neck come off for court. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh I go for this video and I go see where PDP deputy national publicity uh, publicity secretary mark come on my glasses. Yes, can't talk who win this election. The man no look say in no be Labour Party. The guy said the truth, the raw truth. I love people like this. Now from the north, no be able man no be Yoruba, man no be a door shakerio. Uh, yes. Then no man, I no forgot tomorrow na Peter will be birthday. How one do I? He don't say no one present, he no one gift. You know, because Nigeria no be you know the sweet and situation, no the sweet and for belly. So make we help people around us. So guys, man, I drop comments. How one celebrate Peter will be birthday. Anyway, guys, man, let's now watch this video. Drop your comment, share this video. I say help me share. And I'm not so they do now. You will never come. <laughs> come follow us. Uh, subscribe. Uh, I love you. Uh, I go see now for your next video. I too choke on our love. Mwah. <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen my name is mr benjamin and i'm the presidential candidate of the fictional common sense people's party now as we speak there is serious crisis going on in the apc i pointed out a few days ago that there are aggrieved parties within the apc and the good thing is these aggrieved people are mostly northerners First, it was Ablaziz Yari of Zamfara State, then Ganduje of Kano State. Next, it was El Rufai of Kaduna State, who is reportedly even waiting for Tinubu to lose in court so that he can mock him. And the recent one now, now the APC chairman himself, Abdullahi Adamu. Abdullahi Adamu has reportedly fallen out with Tinubu and from reports where they reach us now, Abdullahi Adamu has even resigned his position as the APC chairman. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. <laughs> Who resigns around this time if no be confusion within their camp? Now, if you think that crisis in the APC is not a blessing to Labour Party and the case that they have at the tribunal, then you need to think again. Just yesterday, Tinubu and his legal team threatened Nigerians and the judges that if he is disqualified, there will be chaos, there will be anarchy, there will be breakdown of law and order in Nigeria. That was the threat he issued. Now, everybody knows that the North is the most volatile area in Nigeria. If they talk of violence for Nigeria, Northern Nigeria now be the highest. And all these guys, all these past governors, this El Rufai them, this Ablaziz Yari, now them be chief directors, the chief perpetrators of all those violence where they see so. Now, if all these guys are aggrieved and they are no longer behind him, who will now organize violence for him in the North? That is why it is important that they are aggrieved now. Even the judges will not be under pressure again. If they see, say, the party don't tuka. If they see, say, the party don't they pafuka. The judges will now be freer to pass judgment when they see, say, party no stand again. That is why anytime I hear there is crisis in the APC, me, I'm always excited. I don't know about you, but me, I want the party to scatter. And I continue to pray that those that are aggrieved will continue to be aggrieved. And God will continue to give Tinubu the grace to continue to make them aggrieved. Until they will break out and form another APC and call it the Aggrieved Progressive Congress. <laughs> now, in other news, Tinubu is doing everything possible to win Nigerians over. The burden of illegitimacy hangs on his head. He knows that Nigerians are generally calling for his disqualification and he is trying to win us over. Today he released a statement that should ordinarily make Nigerians happy. But he ended up getting heavily criticized and dragged and insulted. But before I show you that statement, let me quickly show you this video 
by PDP's Deputy National Publicity Secretary saying the truth about who won the election. Like you said, the Labour Party came all out from the blues. In less than two, three months, <laughs> it generated the same votes that PDP generated that has lasted for 25 years. And barring any last-minute uh, abracadabra, they would have won the election themselves. That was PDP's Deputy National Publicity Secretary, Ibrahim Abdullahi. He said, if not for the last-minute abracadabra, Obi would have won the election. But Obi actually won the election because that abracadabra is what we are going to remove now. Eh? That abracadabra is what Obi is challenging in court. That is why he petitioned the election. And that is why he has gone to court to remove the abracadabra. And it is important to note that this man, Ibrahim Abdullahi, is a northerner. Yes, I know why I'm pointing this out. This is a northerner saying that Obi won the election. So when they say that Obi is a Southeast candidate, he's a candidate for the Igbos, tell them they are stupid. Tell them, say they're no guesses. Show them this video. Make them know. And that's why we are saying all eyes on the judiciary. Every part of this country is watching. And even every part of the world. Everybody know what it happened. This is a northerner saying that Obi won the election. Everybody know what it happened. Judiciary, make una do the right thing. Make una no cause problem for this country. Now, let's get to the issue of how Tinubu tried to deceive Nigerians with this statement that he released so that Nigerians will stop calling for his disqualification. Now, Tinubu released a statement deceiving Nigerians that they are considering making the minimum wage of Nigeria 200,000 Naira. They are considering taking the minimum wage from 30,000 Naira to 200,000. These are people that are struggling to pay 30,000 Naira. Many states are not even paying. But because he has seen that Nigerians are calling for his disqualification, they don't like him. They say, oh God, pack your load, come up for there. He's now looking for a way to deceive them. He say, we will make minimum wage 200,000 Naira. Because he has seen how Nigerians reacted angrily with the 8,000 Naira. Where he say he go, they give household every month. Meanwhile, he's giving National Assembly 70 billion Naira. He's now trying to deceive Nigerians that he will make minimum wage 200,000 Naira. He wants to pretend as if he is like His Excellency Peter Obi, the people first. You know, saying they like copy everything where Peter Obi do. Now, waiting in one try now. And the people said, no, you can't deceive us. They came for him and dragged him. Look at some of the tweet reactions. And this tweet said, If Tinubu likes, let him raise the minimum wage to 500,000. He is an illegal occupant, doing all sorts to buy the goodwill of the people. All eyes on the judiciary. Oh, Nigeria has no grill. <laughs> and this one say, They are struggling with 30,000 Naira minimum wage. But because the court wants to sack them, they want to increase it to 200,000 so that people will become sympathetic to them. Ha, 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 ha. APC and Mago Mago. Oh, Nigerians don't know APC finish. No trick when they feel used again. This one say, running from pillar to post. If you like, raise it to 1 million Naira. That mandate must be returned. <laughs> oh, APC, which trick would I want to use again? And this one said, Reading comments, I laugh again. My fellow Nigerians can spot a lie when they see one. These people have started telling lies to change the mood of the nation because of what they anticipate from the outcome of the presidential election petition tribunal. Nigerians don't know everything, all their tricks. And this one said, trying to distract Nigerians from their imminent disqualification. Propaganda, propaganda, propaganda. Oh, and this one said, Fake news, fake news. A country that borrows to pay palliative cannot pay 200,000 minimum wage. This is the situation and the reality. Do you know that MTN is paying and executing federal road projects because Nigeria is broke? Do you know that NMPC remits nearly 0% oil sales? Wow. This is how broke Nigeria is. And this is why His Excellency Peter Obi was screaming during the campaign. He said Nigeria is at the brink. He said this is the time for a man that is accountable to be given power. And some idiots are still using tribalism, still using religion. And I keep saying it, Nigeria can no longer afford the kind of recklessness and rascality that APC people are bringing on board. 
and we need to put all hands, we need to have all hands on deck to throw these people out of power. And yes, we did our best. We came out en masse and we gave His Excellency Peter Obi our votes. But Einek, can't do their magomago. Mago. Yakub Mahmoud, where God go punish, can't come out doing magomago. Mago. But Pio has taken another step and he has gone to court and he has presented evidence, overwhelming evidence before the judiciary. Where we say evidence strong, well, well. That is why we are saying, let us all put our eyes on the judiciary. Let us put them under pressure to do the right thing. This one a good pressure now. Do the right thing. All the evidence day before you. Just do what is expected of you. We are not asking for a favor. We are saying you should pass judgment according to the dictates of the constitution and the electoral laws. And we are urging them and we are having faith that they will do what is right. For those of us within this country now, and for the children yet unborn.